whole ass planet on my forehead. I don't even know how this happened. Hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nena. I wanna welcome you to a new series that I'm gonna be starting here on my channel. It's called Makeup, History, and Conspiracies where we discuss history, conspiracies, urban legends, folklore, and paranormal while I do my makeup. If you wanna support my channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Also, let me know what you think of this setup. I'm still trying to figure out where exactly I wanna film or if I wanna get like a backdrop. Do you guys like the more homey feel? This is literally like my living room. I'm filming like right by my TV. So let me know what you think. Make sure you grab your cafecito. I have some Dutch Bros here that I'm gonna be sipping on. Make sure you stay hydrated, drink your water as well. But let's jump right into the video. For today's video, we're gonna be discussing an urban legend from my home country of Mexico. I'm sure if you're Mexican, you've heard of La Llorona also known as the weeping lady in english for those of you who are not spanish speakers some of the earliest documentations for la llorona have been traced back to as far as the 1500s and not only is this urban legend something that is known in mexico but it's also known in other parts of central and south america as well there are also some theories that people believe that la llorona is closely connected with the Aztec goddess Xihuacuatl, I hope I pronounced that correctly, um, which is the goddess of motherhood. I'm not blending it out quickly enough. I couldn't sleep last night, so I was finishing up some like notes at like 2 a.m. on this video, and I literally got a nosebleed, and I low-key freaked out. Like I panicked for like a good 20 minutes, and I could not fall asleep until like 3.30 in the morning because I was like, what? Are the odds are a few slightly different variations of this story but this is what i remember hearing growing up well, the story goes that there was this beautiful woman her name was maria maria's lifelong dream was to basically be married and be married to a rich man maria ended up finding her rich man he was said to be some kind of ranchero slash conquistador and she ended up marrying him. Eventually, Maria and her husband went on to have two children together. And unfortunately for Maria, her husband was not faithful. And some people say that Maria saw her husband with his mistress. Other people just say that she found out through the grapevine that he was cheating on her. Once Maria found out that her husband was not faithful, she was enraged. There are varying stories. Some people say that Maria did this immediately out of spite, while other people say that there was some kind of separation, divorce, and Maria's husband wanted to take the children away from her and have his mistress raise them. In a fit of rage, Maria unfortunately decided to drown her children in a nearby river in her pueblo. My makeup is looking extra cakey today, which I love. When Maria realized what she had done, she instantly regretted her decision and unfortunately decided to also take her own life. However, because she had taken the lives of her children, she was able to enter the afterlife and she was basically left in a purgatory here on Earth. La Llorona is a very distinct spirit that roams near bodies of water. So people who usually claim to see her say that they hear her or see her near lakes and rivers. She will essentially show up as a tall woman with long dark hair, usually in a white dress, and she can be heard basically wailing, mis hijos, mis hijos, mis hijos, which means my children, my children, my children. She is essentially stuck here looking and looking for her children. However, people have claimed that she will lure you to said river lake and kill you. So that is why people fear her. There are many people who claim to have encountered and even heard La Llorona. 
and a lot of these stories do come out of Mexico. In more recent years, there have also been a lot of people who say that they are hearing and seeing her in the United States as well. So growing up, I know for me personally, La Llorona was definitely kind of like a boogeyman, cuckoo type story that my family members would tell to kind of scare you into either sleeping, going to sleep. But for us, it was definitely a boogeyman. We saw her as something or someone that would come and steal you from your family, which was really scary growing up now that I think about it because can you imagine being like four to like 12 years old and they're like, yeah, some lady in a white dress will come and snatch you away and drown you if you don't go to bed soon. I decided to do kind of like a deeper um, dark blue grayish tone just because those are the vibes that I'm getting from Miss Yorona over here. Finish this eyeshadow look real quick so we can get into some of the encounters. If you're curious, I'm using the Meredith Duxbury X Morphe palette. I'm kind of using these like little colors right here. He might even use a little bit of that silver, but let's see what we come up with. The look is complete. I'm just gonna set everything really quickly. Okay, I'm gonna read one story. This is an article I found on me too. I will link it down below if you want to read a few more of the stories, but this one particularly stood out to me just because it took place in Texas. So this is what the person has to say about their encounter with La Llorona. This happened to me when I was about 11 years old in the 90s. I have lived my whole life in El Paso, Texas. The culture is rich in folklore and religious beliefs. Many Hispanic families have stories of the paranormal. One popular legend is the legend of the weeping woman, AKA La Llorona. Of course I would get an ad. One night, just like every other night, I lived in a trailer with my mom and my dad. My youngest brother was staying with my aunt that night. I fell asleep watching Jay Leno as usual. And when I woke up, I was on the sofa in my living room. It was 4 a.m., which illuminated from the stove in the kitchen. The television was off and normally it had a light on, but this time it was pitch black. I woke up and heard a horrible scream that was coming from far in the distance. The scream was coming from a ditch that was feet away from the home. I heard it and I asked myself, am I dreaming? Then I started to hear the animals outside howling and whimpering. As the screaming got closer, the animals continued to cry. The screaming was something I had never experienced before. It sounded like I was in a big hallway and the woman was screaming her guts out down the hallway. Then in all the screams, I started making out the words. These words being said by whoever this was at 4 a.m. screaming their guts out shocked me. The woman says, I, mis hijos, oh my children. In a huge panic, I got up from the sofa and ran to the kitchen, which was right next to where I was asleep. I turned the closet light on and looked around. The screaming didn't stop. In fact, the screaming only got louder and closer. I questioned my sanity at that moment. Was I going crazy or hearing things? Then I thought to myself, is this real? The animals are responding to it in a negative way. So I did what any other 11 year old boy would do in a moment like this. I ran to my mom and dad's room. I reached for my mom and shook her awake. She woke up slowly and to my amazement, the screaming faded away as she woke awake. I thought to myself, what the heck is going on? I told my mother, mom, did you hear the screaming and crying lady? My mom was half asleep. When she said, go back to sleep, most likely it's your imagination. I told her, no, this is real. Please listen, you don't hear her? My mom quickly just said, you are dreaming, so go back to sleep. It's going to be okay. By then the screaming had faded long away, as if whoever was screaming knew that an adult was awake. I was terrified as I returned to the living room and quickly turned on the television, as I left most of the lights on as well. I didn't go back to sleep until the sun came up. I couldn't believe what I heard and witnessed. I was treated like a crazy person whenever I told my story. It got so bad that I kept the experience to myself. To this day, I don't care what people think of my experience. I know what I heard. A couple years later, it happened to me again. Got the chills. So what do you think? Do you think La Llorona is real? 
I personally have never had an encounter with her. However, I do believe she's real because I think spirits can definitely linger on earth, um, especially if they have some sort of unfinished business or did something just as horrible as Maria did. I wanna know what you think about this urban legend. If you know anyone who has had an experience with her or if you personally have had an experience with La Llorona, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this new little series we have going on. I'm very excited to see what the future holds. Or if you have any requests for conspiracies, urban legends, folklore, uh, historical time or historical time periods that you want me to talk about, leave them in the comments below. Thank you again so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye.